how many grams of precipitate will be formed if you mix these two solutions of sodium chromate and silver nitrate. In order to answer this question, first of all, we need to write down a chemical equation so that we can see what is the precipitate. And then second, based on that chemical equation, we can do our calculations. So let's write down how these two react. If you write down here, sodium chromate reacting with silver nitrate, we can predict the product by doing this. First, if you mark down the charges for each ion, sodium ion, has a charge of plus one, chromate has minus two, silver plus one, and nitrate is one minus. These are the charges of the ions. So if we want to predict the product of this reaction, we need to combine the cation of one reactant with the anion of the other reactant. And same we do, do for the anion of the first product and the cation of the second product. So if we do this, what we will have is one of the products, if we combine the silver ion with the chromate, we will have silver chromate Ag and the chromate ion. And I'm going to put the charges so Ag is plus one and chromate is two minus. So we need to actually have two silver ions to make sure that this formula is correct. Plus the second product combining the sodium with nitrate. I'm going to have sodium nitrate and then we check to see that the reaction is balanced so we have two here we're going to put two in front of the silver nitrate and two in front of the sodium nitrate and now the reaction is balanced so if we check in the table actually the table of the solubility we will see that the silver chromate is a precipitate it is not soluble in water and this is in fact an image of this reaction the solid here is going to be the silver chromate. It's a red brownish precipitate. And so at this point, what we want to do is find how much of this precipitate will be formed. In order to do this, first, we're going to find how many moles of the reactants we have. Second, we're going to determine the limiting reactant because all the calculations need to be based on the limiting reactant. And once we have the limiting reactant, we're going to determine how much of the precipitate we have. Let's start from the first one. How do we find the moles? First, moles of the sodium chromate are equal to the concentration, which is 1.25 molar multiplied by the volume of the solution, which is 0 0.1772 liters, and this is equal to 0 0.2215 moles. Now, one thing here again is I converted this number 177.2 milliliters to liters by dividing by 1000, and this is what we get. Now, what are the moles of silver nitrate? The moles of the silver nitrate are equal to, again, the concentration, which is the same, so 1.25 moles per liter, and we multiply this by the volume. And it is, if we convert it to 150 milliliters to liters, we'll have 0 0.25 with one zero liters. So we cancel here. And so this is 0 0.3125 moles of silver nitrate. So these are the amounts of the reactants. And what we want to do is determine which one is the limiting reactant. So pay attention here, just because this is 0 0.22 doesn't mean that this is the limiting reactant. And also one thing to mention here, the way I found the moles here is by using this formula. The, the concentration is equal moles divided by the volume. So from here, moles are equal concentration times volume. That's how I divide, I, de I determine the moles here. Okay, so let's determine based on the sodium chromate, how many moles of precipitate would, would be formed if it was the limiting reactant. So I'm gonna put here 0 0.2215 moles. And based on our chemical equation, it's a one to one molar ratio. I'm gonna have the same number of the moles here, 0 0.2215 moles. Second, I'm going to determine based on this reactant, silver nitrate, how much product will I get? So I have 0 0.3125 moles and my mole ratio is two 
to one every two moles of silver nitrate is producing one mole of silver chromate so silver chromate is going to be two times less than silver nitrate so in order to find this i'm going to divide this number by two and if i do that i'm going to get 0 0.15625 moles now we're just going to compare these two numbers which one is less so silver nitrate gives us less product this is less which means that this is the limiting reactant of this reaction so all the calculations need to be done based on the moles of silver nitrate even though initially silver nitrate is in a larger quantity but because of the mole ratios here it is our limiting reactant now we determine the limiting reactant, we actually already determined how many moles of the precipitate will be formed. So our last step here is to find the mass of the precipitate. So mass of the silver chromate is equal to the moles multiplied by the molar mass, which is equal to 0.15625 multiplied by 331.7 grams per mole. Now, if I stopped here at this point and do the significant figures, I'll have only three significant figures because I carry on, I do another step of multiplication, I bring these numbers here and then my answer will be based on three significant figures. So if I multiply these two numbers, I'm going to get 51.8 grams of precipitate, three significant figures based on the quantities of the reactants.